Hey guys, Azamba here. As you know, the Ludum Day 45 event happened from the 5th of October to the 8th of October. This event happens twice a year, so I decided to enter the jam. I'll be sharing with you guys my experience and progress making the game the king of nothing. A few hours before the jam, I found a team and joined the Discord. We were a team of 5. There were 2 programmers, 2 artists and 1 musician. Game Jam will be revealed 12am, it's, it's 1 hour 24 minutes left. I'll actually have to go sleep soon and I'll probably wake up at about 6 at 6 a.m. It was pretty late by me, so I went to sleep. So I woke up at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning and the theme of the jam was start with nothing. I went on Discord to check the server and my team wanted to spend a few hours, about 4 to 5, thinking about a game idea. We were coming up with a lot of ideas but after a while rejected them. In almost every game, especially tycoons, players start with nothing. Our team wanted something a bit more than that, not only a casual tycoon. So my ideas, I thought of a tycoon game where you moved into a new city and want to create a business. You start off with nothing and have to gain money to build up your business, but I scrapped that idea because we had time limits. I thought of a similar idea, but I scrapped that too. Sadly, I had a busy day planned. I had quite a few things to do and would only be back in a few hours. So, a few hours later, I came back and... Two of our team members left? We lost too much time and no one even started on the game mechanics. Right now, we still didn't have a main idea, but we were deciding to go for a top-down RPG. I decided to start on the play of movement. We just lost two members and no one was online, so I figured I should get the controls done quickly. I didn't really know how to do top movement, top down movement, so I decided to watch a video and then make a script for the movement. After a while, I finally made the play script, tested it out, and it worked smoothly. We were using getup to store our code, so I made a pull request with the new play controls. Then the team decided that we wanted grid like movement, so the top down movement was basically a waste of time. I've never done grid based movement, so I had to watch a tutorial. It wasn't too complex to learn and after a lot of coding, I made a script for it and tested it out. The grid based movement was working! Woohoo! I made a small simple level to test out the grid movement. There was a collision bug. I tried fixing it but sadly the bug still occurred. It was kind of late for me, so I made a pull request and went to sleep. So, I woke up at around 7.40am and went to the discord server. I saw that someone had already created a trailer board, which was excellent. Overnight, my team came up with a final idea for the game. The game was going to be an infinite chess based scroller. That sounded epic. The game we were making was inspired by an infinite chess scroller game on a website. We thought that making a game like this shouldn't be too difficult, they said. So we all agreed and started working further on the game. We were going to make an infinite vertical scroller, so I didn't need to fix the collision problem I had yesterday. I was so happy. Since both artists left our team, I decided to make the tiles for the board. First, I decided to make a lot of small black and white tiles into one 64x64 tile picture, but that looked very messy and there were too many tiny tiles on the board. Then I decided to make separate black and white tiles. I imported these into Godot and made a tile set. Finally, I made a nice looking chessboard. After a while, the team decided that we should create our own chess piece sprites. We didn't want to copy from the internet and then later get sued. So I continued working and designed the sprites. At first, the sprites looked really horrible. Blech. It took me a few attempts to make a good chess piece sprite. But I finally made one. Then I continued making all the other chess pieces. Making the pieces were a bit difficult. I've only made pixel art for the game art before, but it was nice to make the art. I did quite a lot today, but sadly I have to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll get some rest and work more on it tomorrow. So I came back home and checked the Discord server. One of my teammates wanted me to make a battle shader. 
he wanted us to try and make a vertical infinite scroller, similar to our inspiration. None of us in the team knew how to work with shaders, so I decided to watch a video about it. Sadly, I ran into a few problems with GitHub and trying to get my forked repo up to date. I sat with this error for a while, as this was my first time using Git and GitHub for Game Jam, and I, ne and I never really used GitHub for projects. After a while, I fixed it and got my repository up to date. Then I tested out the game so far and everything worked well. After searching on the internet, I found out that someone had already made a barrel shader for Godot. So I spent a few minutes watching a tutorial on how to make and add shaders in Godot. Then I copied and pasted the code into the shader tab, but I had a few errors with the code and the shader material. I tried fixing it and changing some code, but problems still occurred. It was about 8pm and I was tired, so I decided to make some final changes and make a PR. There were a few hours left till the jam ended. I wouldn't be able to submit the game, but my team members were in different time zones, so luckily they would be able to submit it. So I came back home and yippee! I found out that the game had been submitted. Woohoo! Sadly, I wasn't able to help finalize and submit the game, but I'm happy that we actually finished the project. The playing rate ended in about two or three weeks. So we figured out that we had a lot of time to fix some bugs, finalize it, and make the game even better. Participating in this jam and making the game had been really wonderful. Finding a team and working with other awesome game developers was also excellent. Even though we had team members leaving and lost a lot of time on Saturday, I think we did good and created a really cool game. If you want to play the game, the link will be in the, in the description and the source code too. Also, a ton of credit to Salazar, Garko and Oluska, I hope I pronounced that right, for making the game with me. They did a lot of work, hard work, to finalize and improve the game. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, share with friends or family and smash the like button. If you didn't like the video, meh. If you want more game dev related content or more content in general, please destroy the subscribe button. Other than that, Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.